How do you live a truly purposeful life? That is what I'm gonna talk about in this week's video because I find that there's so many people who are going through life feeling unfulfilled, like something's missing, they're maybe playing it small, they're feeling kind of depressed, they're bored, all these different things. And when you really are living on purpose, those things go away and you start feeling fulfilled and like you're doing and really making the most out of your life. So yesterday I was going for a hike actually with a friend of mine and she's in this huge transition in her life where um, like me, she has a background being a medical practitioner. So she's a physical therapist and we were talking about where she's at right now and she's kind of just left everything behind where she was living um what she was doing so doing physical therapy and she's like i felt like i was dying inside and i know i just need to be doing something else like my life needs to be different um i'm really kind of reinventing and starting over and it's super scary because I don't know what's going to happen. And the people around me are worried for me. They're like, oh my gosh, how are you going to make money? How are you going to take care of yourself? All these things. And so I have been in that spot myself um, where I went to school for becoming a chiropractor and was doing that work and just felt like I was as dying inside. Same thing, you know, having to do maybe with where I was living and, and you know, all the things were just kind of feeling off. I wasn't feeling like I was living on purpose or living what I was meant to be doing because it just felt so wrong. And so I, she was asking me for advice because obviously I have gone through this in my own life and I really want to share some things I've been thinking about as far as when you are in this space of transition, which a lot of us are when we're looking at starting and building a business and if you're here watching this video you're probably interested in starting a coaching business so I want to talk about this and the first thing I want to mention is that I really believe as far as our purpose I don't necessarily think this has to be linked to your career okay like I really do believe that our purpose here on earth is to live our life and to experience all that we can experience and really allow our desires to lead us to take action and to do certain things. So our life here on earth is meant to be positive, negative, challenging, all those things. And we know that because that's what it is for all of us. Um, those challenges look different for all of us, right? Um, but that's just really the reality of, of here living on earth. And so I think a big part of that is to go through life and have experiences and to learn more about what you like and what you don't like so that you can make better decisions and go towards those things that you want. Okay. That's really like a big piece of it. And I think a lot of us have a hard time with that because we have this thing in society where we're told that it's bad to change your mind or that you really need to pick one thing and just go for it like especially for a career a lot of us right like we go we go to college we get an education sometimes we get advanced education maybe spending eight years of education um to do a certain career and then we get in there and we're like hmm <laughs> maybe this isn't exactly what I want. And maybe it is for some period of time, but af after a certain amount of time, it's not, it's no longer aligned. And maybe you've gotten out of that, that career, um, what you were meant to get out of it. And now it's time for something new. And I think the same thing happens with relationships. We have this thing where we think, oh, I need to be in one relationship for my whole life. Like, no, that's not true. Maybe there's seasons of your life where the someone is the right person for you and then maybe you guys outgrow each other and you're meant to be with someone else. So this can happen with our career too. So one of the things that's really important is to give yourself that permission to try things out and to do things and maybe have those things be right for a certain amount of time and then maybe they're not and you can change your mind and do something different. And the other thing is a lot of times we have to experience things to know if it is right for us or not. We can't, we don't really have a magic ball where we're like, I know I'm going to love this career for my, the rest of my life. Like it just doesn't work like that. So, so that's the first thing I want to say. Um, 
The second thing is I really do believe that we are here to dream and follow those dreams and to have things that we're interested in and to try those things out and to once again, get clarity about them and then maybe get more clarity about what we want and, and don't want. And this is going to lead us like following these, um, like your intuition and following the things you're interested in and trying those things out wherever you're getting guided, it leads us to really our challenges and our life lessons, okay? So we're really here to grow and expand as a human being in this experience. And when you follow your intuition, it is going to guide you to those experiences we're meant to have. And often those experiences can be challenging because they teach us certain lessons or allow us to overcome maybe limiting beliefs um, or stories that we have that have been keeping us from being our highest self and living our best life, okay? Um, and number three, <laughs> so, I think it's really important. So if you're in this space and you're kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, what's my next step? What am I meant to be doing? Like, what is my purpose? You know, all that stuff and you're questioning things. I like to say, you. I think it's really important to look at what does success mean to you, okay? Because success is different for everyone and I think it's really important. Sometimes we tie success to financial success and First of all, this is different for everyone. Like, you know, for one person, financial success might be $100,000. For someone else, it might be a million dollars. For someone else, it might be $50,000. You know, like it, it's different for everyone. So I think getting really clear on what success looks like and means to you, but also it's not obviously just about money. It's about what kind of freedom you have in your life. What are you doing? How are you spending your time? Um, really knowing what your vision for your day-to-day -day life is like that ideal vision what kind of experiences do you want to have in your life what what are the people who are the people in your life who do you want to be surrounded by how do you want to feel in your everyday life like these things really lead to you living what is a successful life for you okay so it's really this whole picture and i think knowing this in the beginning and working backwards from this is really, really important because when you do this, you may make different decisions that are better leading you towards that success, your vision of success, right? And that's why I think it's important to think about this before you make that next, next choice as far as you know what your career is and what you wanna be doing. Um, so for me, once again, like if I really looked at what I wanted my day-to-day -day life to be like, um, I obviously want to be my own boss. I wanted to be able to work from anywhere, set my own hours, um, be able to do work that I'm really passionate about, that's exciting for me, that feels really easy and just fun for me. And obviously that led me to coaching, right? Had I known that sooner, and I think I there was no way I did, like I had to go through those experiences I had of becoming a chiropractor and doing nutrition stuff and all that to get to where I am, and that path was perfect for me. Um, but, you know, having this knowledge now, I wouldn't go and do education um, or get a degree that would lead me to being an employee or lead me to not having the freedoms that I want in my everyday life. Okay. So if you can work backwards from that and be like, these are the things that are really important. This is what a successful life looks like. What is going to allow me to be able to have that in my life? Because it is the whole picture. Okay. Um, obviously looking at number four is really like the impact that you want to be having. And you know, this is different for all of us. Like, what does that look like? What type of people are you working with? Um, you know, what are, what are you doing with them? What are you helping them achieve? Like really knowing this, I think is, is helpful. Um, and when it comes like specifically to ideal client, don't worry if you don't have that totally figured out. Like that's something that I always help all my clients with. Um, but having an overall, like kind of what do I overall want to be helping people accomplish? Okay. And then really looking at obviously how can you how can you marry that impact you want to be making with the lifestyle you want to be making so once again for me obviously this this led to coaching and having a coaching business um and then the next thing number six is really looking at then 
when you have that vision of what your successful life looks like, what education, training, support do you need to really make that a reality for you? And I think getting that is really important. I've obviously gotten tons of support um, along my journey of building my coaching business, and I never would be where I am today without that support. So if you know you really want something, then commit, go all in, but get the right support to help you live the life you want to be living and have the impact you want to be making and work backwards from that. Okay. Really, really important. Um, and then next step, step seven is really just to take action from where you're at now and to trust your intuition. So I want to go back to my friend. Um, she's really right now. She has no idea what she wants to do. She has no idea where she wants to live. And so, but she's gotten this intuit intuitive hit to, go to France and she's bought a one way ticket to France. And I'm so excited for her because I think that's amazing. And I'm like, okay, awesome. Just, just do this, follow it and go where you're being guided and you will get the clarity and the next steps will become clear to you. Like I feel absolutely confident because that's the same thing I did. I did a bunch of traveling when I was trying to figure out what in the heck I was going to do after I quit my job and I hadn't started my coaching business yet. Um, I did some traveling around the the US. Um, I was just kind of trying different things out and, and really just kind of following those intuitive hits and the things I was interested in and curious about. And I 100% believe when you do that, it will guide you to where you're meant to go. Okay. So those are really my tips for living a purposeful life. Really, um, like I said, this is, is so much more about what success means to you and how that fits into your everyday life than it is just about your voc vocation or your career. Um, and this is really important as far as feeling overall fulfilled and happy because obviously you can have an amazing career or amazing coaching business even and not feel fulfilled, not feel happy because it's not allowing you to have that overall success of what that means to you in your life. Okay. So, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Are you in a transition right now where you're really trying to figure out your purpose and what that looks like and what your life looks like? Um, you know, let me know in the comments below if you have any specific questions about this. And if you want to dive deeper into the steps of really building a successful coaching business and getting clear on what that means and looks like to you. Um, I do have a free training that walks you through that and I will link it right below this video. So I want to thank you so much for joining me in this week's video and I will see you next time.